and a wireless ultrasound handle a range of scenarios. Today we're reviewing the clearest Pell HD3 with some real clinical images, covering cardiac, lung, vascular, and more. Let's see what it can do across multiple specialties. All right, so here we have a personal long axis view. You can see that the endocardial borders are well demarcated. Next, we have a personal short axis view. And again, you can see that the structures appear fairly sharp. And here is a personal short axis view at the level of the aortic valve. In this apical four chamber view, we can clearly see all four chambers of the heart, both atria and ventricles. Well, the thin septum between the left and right heart is well defined. And here's color Doppler over the mitral valve. As we scan through the hepatorenal recess, also known as Morrison's pouch, there's a clearly visible and well demarcated curved hyperechogenic line, which represents the diaphragm. Both the liver and the right kidney appear crisp and well contoured. Here's a shallow depth view of the pleural line, which is nicely differentiated, and also rib shadowing. In this deeper lung ultrasound at 12 centimeters, A lines are present, but they appear a bit subtle with the PEL HD3. In this view of the trachea, thyroid, and carotid artery, the surrounding structures appear fairly well delineated. Now moving on to the bladder, the posterior wall is distinct and easy to follow. In this vascular preset, the peripheral vein is prominently displayed, easily discernible with well-defined borders. Uh, the overall image appears fairly sharp, uh, capturing the vein's smooth, compressible nature. And here we have a longitudinal view of the same vein. At the wrist level, the radial artery is visible, accompanied by paired veins on either side. Although the vascular structures are smaller and there's some noise around the vasculature, the artery and veins are still discernible, with the pulsatile flow of the artery and the compressibility of the veins easy to identify. And here's a longitudinal view of that same radial artery. Here's some additional vascular image samples from the PAL HD3. This is the brachioneurovascular bundle. The brachial artery is center aligned with paired veins. And this is the brachial artery from a longitudinal view. Lastly, we have an image of the femoral vasculature showing the great saphenous vein at its junction with the femoral vein. And then a longitudinal view of the femoral vein and artery. Let me know what you guys think about the image resolution of the Clarius PAL HD3 in the comments.